Hey guys, it is that time again. Yes, time to open the hamster mailbox. Just like last time, if you have no idea what the heck this thing is, I have a whole review video talking about the product and the company over on my channel, which you can go and check out if you want to learn more. Now this is my third box from them since signing up for the six month subscription. And this is the August box. Yes, I know it's September, but that's just how this works. As you can tell, we are joined today by your recommended dose of zinc. He is not too happy with me today because I'm using a new moisturizer and apparently he hates it. So uh, yeah, he might he might stay away from me. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the hamster mailbox. Opening up the beautiful yellow paper, which I definitely didn't already open and take a peep in. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Would you would you mind? Okie doke. So first thing is first, let's see which charity they are supporting this month. So our August charity of the month is Starlight Trust, who are based in Surrey in the UK. This animal welfare and rescue organization was founded in 2008, and it's run on the belief that every animal is equal, no matter their size. They deserve to live in peace, comfort, and have respect. The organization focuses on small animals, such as hamsters, mice, gerbils, rats, chinchillas, dagoos, and even pigeons. They provide not just shelter, but a home for these animals until they are found a responsible owner. Find out more about their great work and ways you can help by visiting visiting starlighttrust.org.uk and as always I will leave the link to that organization in the description box down below so if you want to go and support them support their charity and their work you can go ahead and do that okay now let's get into the products in this box we're going to start with the treats as usual and I think we'll begin with this interesting looking thing this is the healthy hopper carrot and coriander platter it contains flaked carrot and dried coriander and no nasty extras so this really is exactly what it says on the packaging very very simple and it comes in a little edible bowl however and they do put this warning on the card as well because hamsters and mice and small critters are so small you don't want to be giving them this entire thing in one go I don't recommend leaving this in their cage unsupervised maybe just pop it in let them have a nibble on what they want and then take it out a minute later the next item is a bag of healthy hopper dried cucumber slices and once again very very simple just one ingredient in this and that is cucumber and I know somebody who likes a bit of cucumber so let's give him a try now my rodents have only ever tried fresh cucumber so this is a whole new thing I'm gonna break that down to a smaller piece that's a little bit big for a mousey come here you where have you gone yeah oh <laughs> yes yes he definitely likes that huh and you can't even see him wonderful well done Zink you are so camera friendly come outside and eat it come here Nope, <laughs> back in the tunnel, of course. They smell really, really nice, but strangely, they actually smell like sun-dried tomatoes. I, I, I don't know why that is. The third item in this box is a rodent classic. It is the Rosewood Board and Breaker Woody's Caterpillar. I have one of these that I have kept for so many years. I'm so careful about not giving it to chewers because I just love the Woody's Caterpillar so much. These things are so, so adorable, but you know what? Now that I've got two of them, Maybe I will have to give one of them to my little chewer over here. Although, to be honest, I think I'll still be heartbroken when I find his dismembered body parts all over Zink's cage. That is undoubtedly going to happen. Here you go. Think of that. Okay, and the final item. You guys will have seen this if you watched my early bird unboxing. These are the Happy Pet Critter's Choice Bedtime Books. And if you haven't seen them before, they are just cardboard books with paper pages. They are all made with hamster safe colorings, small pet safe colorings. They are adorable, they are tiny, and they are perfect for chewing on. They're great for your hamsters if they just want to have a munch and destroy something, or if they want to have a more challenging bedding, because I have known hamsters in the past to take these books to rip up their pages and to make a nest with them. So I have two of these from the early bird box and I have yet to give them to Zink. He's the one who I'm pretty sure will make the most use out of them again. He's my only chewer. Mice go through chew toys so, so quickly. So having four of these books is a fantastic thing. So there we go. That's everything in the August hamster mailbox. We have the dried cucumber slices, the carrot and coriander platter, the chewing books, and the Woody's caterpillar chew. So I really feel like this box 
is so intended for zinc. He is gonna love everything in this. I'm gonna share the platter between them and the cucumber slices will definitely get shared between him and the hamsters, uh, but the toys for certain will be going to him. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed having Zinc along. I have a new table to work on now, which is much bigger. So I actually have the space to have him out while I'm filming. So if you enjoyed this kind of video, I will definitely have him out more often. Unfortunately, it's not so easy to get the hamsters out because one, hamsters will jump off things, unlike mice who are a little more savvy about heights. And two, my hamsters are much more nocturnal and so they don't usually wake up around this time of day where zinc is usually up and about throughout the daytime. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.